Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to make, how to recreate the Mandelbrot set in C. So first of all, what's Mandelbrot set? Mandelbrot set, Mandelbrot set is this set of complex numbers C for, uh, for which the function Z2 plus C doesn't diverge to infinity. What does it mean? What it means is that if you plug in the number C in this function and for the Mandelbrot set Z is equal to zero uh, and then repeat it uh, lots of times the value doesn't diverge So first things first we need complex numbers and we need iteration That's a good promise. So let's start We need a library to handle complex numbers for which we can use complex edge and a header for normal input output for which we use a standard IL. In the main function we take no arguments and start by declaring a complex number Z or C. Actually Wikipedia refers it to as C so we use that. So first for loop that goes in the direction of come uh, in the uh, direction of real numbers from uh, plus 1.5 to minus 1.5. So i is equal that i wants to be. Minus 1.5 or 1500 because we are going to divide by 100 afterwards. I goes back. Then we declare a second loop for complex numbers for the direction of complex numbers that goes from minus 2 to plus a half. So oh, here must be. This much 200 j wants to be 50 j plus plus. Then we declare z to be a j plus i times i, or is it i plus j? j times i. Okay, i is real, and yeah, yeah, i plus j times i, then in a loop, we uh, iterate the function that generates the Mandelbrot set. loop plus plus for the first run we don't want, want that much of regeneration so z times z plus now here we don't add plus z but rather we add plus this value because z is going to change each time and that's not what we want i plus j times i and then Each time we print the value of z, the absolute value of z, not its actual value. And here we print the header for a like mpb, mpm, pbm file, which we are going to use as a as the image output so it becomes uh, 251 in by 301 
with a color depth 50. Actually, if these values diverge, uh, converge, then we need to add times 50 here because they are going to be less than 1. And return 0. Let's see if it works. GCC Mandel C Link Math Output O3. Let's optimize it. Output Mandel. First of habits. Mantle output to Mandel dot pp. That was fast. Well, I think here we made a mistake. It's J plus I. Yes, so there it is after five iteration. So it doesn't really resemble that, so let's crank up the numbers. 100 iterations this time. So now it starts to look like what we actually expect. So here's the zoom. As you can see, it doesn't really capture any details, but it resembles what we expect. So let's do it once more, but with each number 10 times, 10 times zoom in both directions here adding a zero and we wait it's going to take more than 10 times last time so it's going to take a while And there it is. Captures more of the spirit, but it's still, it is lacks a lot of details. I believe I wear something made. Um, here it is, that's a 600 megapixel version with 5 iterations, it's 24 gigabytes so I don't think we can open it here, and this one is an 850 megapixel version with 100 iterations this one is turned into png so it doesn't take as much space as a ppm file uh, note that you want to convert them to png in gimp because other programs don't open ppm files as well
Okay, so here it is. It's 100 times the five you originally created. Let's zoom in a bit to see the details. Well, you will see the final result, so let's not continue. Let's spend the money. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.